this is a bias battery, 3 volts paper clip motor uh, I've improved it a little bit I put these wooden sticks there to stand it up because I, I changed this wheel This is my power supply. And that's three volts on the power supply. As you can see, it's going pretty good. And this is six volts, nine volts, 12 volts. I'm not leaving it on 12 volts very long. It could burn it out, I suppose. Three volts on the power supply. I'm going to explain a little bit to you about this paper clip motor. Like I said, I wanted to explain to you about my paper clip. This is the one that you just seen working fine. Um, I changed the wheel. This used to be a paper clip wheel. I had found a keyring which works even better with this motor. I had to put the the wooden uh, wood underneath it a little bit to lift it up because this was a, a bigger size than what I had originally. I just just saw it working really great. Um, the coil. This coil works on a BIOS battery, this is 3 volts. Uh, this is fine um, with this coil. All these other coils that you see here are, the, are some of the coils plus many more that I tried to use to make it work on a BIOS battery with different turns, different gauge wires, pulled out of different stuff like relays and all kind of things. Um, didn't work with, at all. All these coils work on 6 volt, 9 volt, 12 volt brilliant but with that on the three volt bias battery no chance even this one i tried very few turns we've got very hot burned out very quickly so that's it really i cheated i bought a solenoid from ebay three volts and uh, stripped it up stripped it out and put it on that works brilliantly this as you know was my first paper clip motor which i made which worked really great and i thought wow but this works on 12 volts, um, just to show you again, this is a 12 volt, and the last video we just saw, I had another coil on top, which is this one, I found it burnt out, it didn't work again, I had hours and hours out of this coil, so I put this one of these coils on, which I wound before, and just to show you that it works fine on 12 volts. This vibrates quite a bit, so it does move about, but as you can see, Works fine. 12 volt battery which I bought from Poundland. Brilliant. Um, when I made this coil I wanted to make it smaller so I made this one and now I finally got this one working. If however you feel like you want to make one um, this is how I started off. You just make a any size frame to be honest with you. Uh, just choose a size frame you want to make out of a paper clip. I, I use this paper clip. I can't even tell you the size because I don't understand what size this is. Not too thick, but not too thin. This was the original paper clip that you can buy. One time I used this paper clip as a crankshaft on here. Um, I'm not sure if this is the same one. And then I changed it to a different size. So this is a paper clip I use. Made it up like this. Crankshaft, if you're wondering how uh, the design of the crankshaft, you can design it yourself. All you gotta do is make it move up and down freely enough in the straw that you've got. I'm, I use a, a wide straw, um, this one, this size straw, so, the, so that it moves up and down quite freely.
just to show you there. And then I built these on the side. This one's a little bit different to this. I built these on the side and then I designed this thing here to hold my coils because I was finding it frustrated because I was had to keep gluing them and gluing them when they didn't work. So this one just slide it on, adjust it to whatever you want and then see it go. So that's a little bit of design you probably like to use. Now I had a lot of fun with these and um, a lot of experimenting I did. I enjoyed it very much and they were great. I'm going to just show you a few clippings of the previous paper clips motors I tried to build and when they first worked and, and it's a lot of fun indeed. Thank you for watching. Okay this is my first experiment with paper clip. As you can see it's been a hard experiment. It does work apparently which I didn't think it would work but there you go. But it's sideways at the moment until I can make it make it more perfect. The piston is a nail. Um, it only works on 9 volts. Uh, power coming from the mains, 9 volt DC. It won't work on the uh, uh, 3 volts uh, of battery. Uh, can perfect it more, but it's upright, working fine. Yeah. 3 volts, running on 3 volts, 22nd of April 2013. As you can see, it's going nicely. I've changed the top here because I've got a magnet inside there. It's a magnet piston. Change the top here so that the magnet doesn't attract to the metal there. And it works fine. So it's true it can work on three volts. I'm going to try it with a with a BIOS battery in a minute. Let's Uh, my little little motor is working. This is a 12 volt battery though. Can't get to work on on 3 volts. Can work it on 9 volts. I have fixed the battery properly, but it's not 100 percent there. But the design is there, so that should work nicely once I get the battery fixing done properly. There you go, works on 12 volts. It's a 12 volt battery, works at 12 volt nicely. The wire is wound from this coil here, which is broken off, so much of it around it, and straw. Magnet piston beautiful to look at. I will be running this constantly, continually, see how long the battery will last. <laughs>